Tied at two, 2-2 two, two count, bottom five. Cobb doesn't like that the ball's put in play, but the left fielder, Sable's tracking it, sliding, makes the catch. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings, and let's take a look at his catch face. I think we need to pay more attention to people's in catch faces. Just hyper-focused, tongue out, wide eyes. A lot of people go open mouth. Not all go tongue out. That's uh, impressive from Sable. So he makes that grab, and Cobb's reaction was, uh, huh, okay. Next batter. Puts another one in play. This one's high. It's in that middle ground. Crawford back. Tracing can't come up with the catch. And the runner's going to stay on first. Now, Cobb's reaction to this one, ugh, a little similar. Like, pretty similar. These faces, these eyes. Ugh. The one on the left, he's happy. The, ca the catch was made. Maybe he's not happy, but the catch was made. The one on the right, catch wasn't made. You would think these are similar emotions, but different things happen. The next batter comes up, and he rockets one to center field. Is that going to be a hit? No. Tracked down really well. Caught for the second out, but the outfielders are going through it. Cobb's reaction to that, I mean, he kind of got the same eyes right there. So, And look, yeah, just like kind of panic. On all three, like, oh, no, is this one? And then relief and frustration kind of look the same for him. Here's where things get fun. McNeil is going to float this first pitch down the left field line. It's going to land just fair, and then a fan touches it. Fan interference. Sable doesn't play through. He just says fan interference. I think it might be different he plays through. Fan goes, I thought it was foul. Uh, his buddy's like, no, nah, it's fair. I thought it was foul. Nope, and uh, it's okay. It's all right, kid. Slinks back, hand over his heart. He's pretty devastated. He knows that that's kind of a, a faux pas in the baseball world. And yeah, fair ball, and just reaches his hand out and slaps it. Not the best catch effort, but wants the ball, wants to help out. Thought it was foul. Look at the people behind him. They knew it was fair. They're pointing. Fair ball, fair ball. And this guy's going to come up and be like, oh, did you see what you did? Anyway, here's where the runners were. So the umpires have to decide if the runner on first would have scored on this ball had it not been interfered with, which is why they should have just played it through because it maybe would have helped the ump's judgment. He had just rounded second. So touches second there. The ball gets touched there. So say if the ball didn't get touched, it was going to hit the the fencing. So I don't know. And, and kick out a little bit. I don't know if it was going to go down into the corner and Sable might've been able to pick it up, you know, like right around here. And the guy's not at third yet. That's just my judgment on it. Everyone's is a little different. Now, both players were upset about this. McNeil's like, fuck, damn it. And Cobb, he's like, Oh, oh, come on. So both are upset. Both think that this hurts them. Ultimately, it's just the umpire's decision. This kid also, that's bad. That's his realization. Like he's thinking about Bartman and like how bad this is. He goes, oh, that's bad. I'm going to be on TV. His buddy's like, what you say? He's like, that's bad. He's like, well, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. He's real sad. And it, it's tough. The umpires get together and like, do you think he would have scored? What do you think? And they say, yep, you would have scored and you get to go to second. Stay right there. McNeil says, yep, good job. Good job. I totally agree. Great. Now, Gabe Kapler comes out, and he wants to understand why that is. He's asking about the rule. The umpire says, the rule is, and we just told them, he's talking about the other team, we just told them, because of that, we will place them where we thought they would have gotten. Yep. Gabe Kapler says, could you check and see? Take a look at that. Thank you. So they're going to go take a look. And he's just a little heartbroken still. Now he's hoping that something happens. These guys are on the phone talking to each other, uh, doing secret codes like, hey, uh, don't look, but okay, I think it's going to be called this. He's, you think that because of this and this and this, and then just you know, turn around and talk to each other, guys. Kapler and his bench coach talk to each other through the phone. They don't want anyone to know that they're talking together. Very inconspicuous. Like, okay, all right, we'll just turn around and say hi. Now, in the meantime, the left fielder walks over to the kid, and he's like, dude, don't worry about it. I know everyone's booing you. You're good. You're good. Whatever. Touch my fist with your fist. And while this is happening, his friend is taking a picture. Bad picture. Doesn't even get the player involved. And then they do touch fists, and it's a little beautiful. It's, oh, my, closer, closer, a line, a line, closer, touching, press, press, perfect, perfect, really well done. Good job all around. Kid still doesn't feel great about it, but his friend does. His friend's like, yo, that was awesome. Why don't you at least smile about that? You just fist bumped that guy. It was a perfect fist bump. Even in slow-mo, it looked cool. After review, the call on the field stands. The runner scores. 
At the end, he said San Francisco will lose their challenge. And Gabe Kapler comes out and says, I asked you for a rule check about the rule. I didn't ask you to challenge it. I said, is that the rule? And he's like, well, that's the same thing, right? And he's like, no. He's like, so we don't get a challenge now? Even though I just asked about a rule, not a play in the game? And the ump's like, yeah, yeah, no, that's your challenge. And he says, and you're 100% sure of that? Huh? You didn't tell me that, right? That's a pretty big deal in the game. It's a pretty big difference. The umpire's like, well, you asked for a review. He's like, yeah, but I wanted you to review the rule, not the play. I thought it was different. Umpire's like, well, it's the same. And then Kapler's like, uh, don't you think it would have been right if you, after you hear that, you couldn't come and tell me it'd be a challenge? And they're like, no, I mean, I thought you knew and you knew. And I don't know. I think I'm with Gabe Kapler. Like, I just asked for a rule check, but you got to over communicate that, that you don't want it to be a challenge. He's not really arguing their decision, although he probably doesn't like it. I also disagree with their decision as well, but my opinion doesn't matter at all. So he walks off, and now Alonzo comes up, and does it matter? Are they going to score another run? Well, Cobb goes 95 down the middle, goes slider way away, one and one. Another pitch off the plate. The 2-1, that's the two-seamer that comes back. And that is, what is that, a nasty two-seamer? So these are two pitches and the two different things they're doing, moving around. I like that. Nice pitching. 3-2 pitch. Ooh, foul back. We'll do it again. 3-2 pitch. Two-seamer in. Popped up in play. First baseman camps under it. Gets the third out. And Cobb is... Feeling the same emotions he always feels. Meanwhile, Alonzo's going to break the bat over his knee. Doesn't break it the first time. Goes to his left knee. Breaks it that time. If you want to break the bat, you got to break the bat. Anyway, the best part about the story is Blake Sable going up to the kid. And here's the audio of him talking about that. Felt bad for the, for the kid there. You know, he had a whole stadium booing him. Uh, I looked over. Um, you know, it's all him just sinking further and further in his chair. And I think we all have had situations where, you know, we've done, had a mistake like that. And I think he was just... You know, a kid excited at a baseball game, just trying to get a baseball. And um, so I ran over there. He, the first thing he says, I'm so sorry. And I'll say, hey, you don't need to say sorry. You don't need to apologize. Like, it's all good. All right? Like, don't listen to everyone booing here. Like, everything's fine. Okay? Like, have fun. Put a smile on your face. Um, that's not just giving him a fist bump. And hopefully that made him feel better. But uh, just felt bad. This one was brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring the breakdowns. Thank you guys for watching them. As always, appreciate you. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. That helps out a ton.